Hi there, today we're going to turn the tables and talk a little bit about what it takes to be a great client as you go through a remodeling process. My name is Bill Milholland, I'm with Case Design Remodeling. I have here my pal, Colleen Schott. Colleen, how long have you been with Case now? Since 2005, so about 14 and a half years. That's a long time, yeah. 14, almost 15 years. I'm 29, almost 30. So between the two of us, that's almost 45 years of experience dealing Gosh. with clients. <laughs> so we have pretty strong opinions maybe about what makes somebody a really good, good client, client, right? Absolutely. And we've got kind of a top 10 list on a blog that you can will link to down at the bottom of this post. But we thought we'd share maybe just a couple of our highest ranking right. characteristics. Highlights, some highlights for you. So why don't you start us off, Colleen? What, sure. what do you think makes a great client? So one of the things that I found um, with the best clients that we've worked with is the clients having an opinion. And having an opinion doesn't necessarily mean knowing I like this. A lot of that is gonna be what you don't like. What that does is it helps us really narrow down what what works for you and what doesn't. And that way we can sort of funnel through what those options are. So having an opinion about what you don't like is just as, an, as important as what you do like. It really is. And Colleen's been a designer here for the 15 years. And I know one of the hardest things is to work with somebody that just, I don't know, or won't won't give you feedback and right. I think what's so important for people to realize is it's not personal right no, it's, it's not project. it's not we're people pleasers we right. want you to love this thing so you can say no and it's not gonna hurt our right. feelings right you can definitely have an opinion about what you don't like just because we like something and you don't like it it's not gonna offend us it's your house and we want to make it your project and your home absolutely I'm gonna take the next one and I'm gonna go with communicate and that is really related mm -hmm. to what you were just saying is that if you have an opinion let us know if you're going to be out of town if you're too busy we don't want to be a burden or pester you just let us know sort of what's going on what you're thinking all of that sort of stuff the other thing about communication is we rely on visual tools right mm -hmm. we're always looking at drawings or pointing at a detail or something like that and that's because of who we are and what we do that may not be the best way for you to communicate so if you prefer written word if you prefer getting on the phone if you prefer you know that type of means of communication please let us know and we'll try to adapt for what works best for you absolutely i completely agree um what else you got I think that also one of the keys to being a really good client is to pick out all of your selections, have it all laid out before we start construction. What that does is it allows for a much smoother process in the production of everything. Trying not to go back on your word a little bit and trying to reevaluate things um, is also a huge help, but having everything ordered and lined up and really staged at a warehouse that we can just grab from and move straight through production I think is really a key to to a successful project and to a happy client it will make your experience a lot better and it's already stressful enough to have 100%. people in the house and all this activity yes. if you can be check that box yep. and, and have and that move done on. Yeah. Um, it's gonna make it the makes the ride smoother <laughs> a whole lot easier yeah. and then I guess another one we deal with quite a bit is that makes a client terrific and that is budget and I know budget can be a really sensitive issue because there's a little bit of I don't want to tell you what it is because you're gonna try and maximize it and and I guess that can happen but I promise you you can't believe the advocating that goes on in in this firm but I would bet every other firm as well for clients and that we really want to be respectful of a budget so so let's pick a number and, and a big number fifty thousand dollars and let's say you have fifty thousand dollars to spend well, we're, that's really good, valuable information for us. Thank you, Mr. or Mrs. Client, for that information. But also now we've established something that we're going to take very seriously. And we're going to limit what we show you. Mm -hmm. We're going to limit scope of work. We're going to do everything we can to be respectful of that budget. And that's a blessing and a curse because sometimes there are small little things that can make a big, big difference, difference in your home, right? Mm -hmm, 100%. Big difference. And, and so I would encourage you to just be thinking about what your budget is, to once you get to a point, share that yeah. with us, but then also let us know your tolerance for understanding 
what else might be possible. Because again, we're gonna hold that as a line mm -hmm. unless we have your permission to, to explore exactly. other options. And one of the things I know I've gone through personally is a little bit of regret yes. that I haven't done something. We don't want to happen. And we definitely do not want you to yeah. be sitting in your brand new space with your neighbor enjoying a glass of wine and have the neighbor say, why didn't you do that right. while you were at it? We really desperately don't want to have that happen. But again, we want to be sensitive to budget, so it's a little bit of a fine line. 100%. So that's just a quick preview. Um, if you're interested in more, we're going to link to the blog. Colleen, thank you so much for being here. You're welcome, Bill. Hope to talk to you again soon. <laughs> Bye.